We're Brittany and Drew, two hopeful adventurers who got married, moved into a van, and have been chasing adventures all around the globe ever since, and are now searching for a place to call home somewhere soon. Subscribe and join the ride. Good morning. Buenos dias on what is our last morning here in Mexico, on this incredible little pinky strip of land known as the Baja Peninsula. If you've been enjoying our Baja series, thank you so much for joining us for this journey. It has been unforgettable and having an amazing community like you to share it with makes it all the more special. I don't even know how to put it into words, but if you haven't subscribed yet, it is the best easiest, most free way to support us. And this adventure isn't over. You know, Drew and I have dreams of purchasing land somewhere. I guess it didn't happen to be in Baja, although we were very intrigued with that idea because we saw some amazing places. We do have plans to fly to Portugal, but while we were with Karen, Nate, and the Bucket List family, we were told of a really interesting opportunity that might have us staying in the U.S. for a few more months. We're not quite ready to share that with you yet, but stick around and you'll find out. But this bus has got to get a move on because it's nearly noon and we have a border to cross. Isn't that right, babe? Whatever you say, that's right. <laughs> I'm having a hard time leaving this vineyard. This property is amazing. There's palm trees and there's vineyards and the <laughs> temperature is A+. plus. There's no bugs, no humidity. Yeah. It's definitely blown our minds away. Thinking how there was maybe some fear coming here before and crossing the border was True. such a big deal. Yeah. I think all those paradigms have absolutely been shifted and we I can mean, be happier. Yeah. We to come even here. considered buying land here, you know? And we might be back. We might be back. We definitely will be back, but we might be back for land. Who knows? At least someday, yeah. you know? All I got to say is, obviously, Kara and Nate told us to go to Oman. Oman? Oh, yeah. Oman? Oman. And Oman. that definitely puts me, oh man, out of my comfort zone. So yeah. as much as we go on adventures and push you guys, other people, other friends, they push us too. And Yes, we like yeah. to call them expanders. <laughs> people who push us to be our best selves. We got to hit that road now. I know, I know it's hard to go, but... I was just checking on Lucky Blue. He's all strapped down. <laughs> the family's ready. Also wanted to thank Kara and Nate for mentioning La Chetto, which is a harvest host site. So we were able to sleep in this vineyard completely free last night and made sure to purchase some wine. It's important to support those places that support us and give us a peaceful, safe place to sleep. So anyway, I let's mean, go. This is first class camping. Check this out. See you next time! Bye! Hasta luego! Oh, we're gonna miss you, Baja. Breathing in my last Mexican air. Not yet. Got another hour of it. Domes. Hmm. Those are cool. We've never stayed in one of those before. Not yet. Speaking of things we had never done before, there were two things on our to-do list that we needed to check off before crossing that border. Look at those pearly whites. My teeth are cleaned. They look great, babe. <laughs> and it's Spirit's turn. We're at the car wash. There were a few key things though about my first Mexican dentist experience that were a little bit different from what I'm used to in the US. First of all, you know when you sit down in the chair and they kind of like stick one of those big plastic forms in your mouth so that like your lips aren't in the way and they can get all in there? Well, that was not part of the equation today. And so my lips were sort of getting in the way of the little polishing machine. Also, you don't get a little goodie bag so they don't give you toothbrushes or toothpaste or floss when you go to leave. Oh, and there were two chairs in the dental office, meaning that I was sitting right next to somebody else who was getting their teeth worked on at the same time. But overall, my dentist Leslie was very kind. I actually have receding gums. It's a hereditary issue and so the roots of my teeth are a little bit exposed. I have excellent dental health. My teeth are very strong which I'm always grateful to hear whenever I go to the dentist but that bottom part of my tooth can stain a bit easily because there's no enamel where gum once was and there's nothing they can do about that. So cleanings are important. Luckily here in Mexico, it was only $50, which is a lot cheaper than what I'm used to in the States. So now I understand why so many people from the US come here to get their dental work done. 
it was worth it and I had a great experience. Something else I've had a great experience with recently is Hero Cosmetics, the super powered sponsor of today's episode. I first found them after learning about the Mighty Patch, a powerful little patch that works overnight to shrink my blemishes without hurting my skin, unlike, dare I say it, popping which unfortunately I can be tempted to do, but with these little patches, I literally can't. So after washing my face, I apply the patch, they stick super well and are nearly invisible. And then the next morning, six to eight hours later, it's ready to be peeled off along with all of the gunk and residue that was in my skin before. I like to call that the magic moment. Hero Cosmetics, along with myself, believes that everyone deserves to feel great in their skin, which is why I'm so happy to say that their products are available worldwide. And by using our link below and our code ADVENTURE at checkout, you will get 15% off site-wide and free shipping on all orders over $35. Next, now it was time for Spirit to get her very first Mexican cleaning too, meaning that this would be her first bath in over three months. And although her cleaning would cost half as much as mine, there was quite a bit more surface area for this hardworking father-son team to cover, and I'd bet quite a few bugs that they would find between her teeth. Luckily, none were found between mine. <laughs> I want to point out how clean the van is. Even the sun's reflecting off this puddle up under our van. They did a very good job. Spirit is looking so good. Buen trabaja. Okay. Si, sí. gracias, señor. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. Bueno. We just about hopped back in the van and drove away, and the guy who washed our car stopped us and said, you forgot your GoPro. I had left it in front of the van up doing a time lapse, and if we imagine? had left it, like, that's just oh. so kind of them to even say something to us in a, a testament, testament. Yeah, yeah, to the Mexican people. And there are so many genuine good souls here. And that was he, good for business. It was very good for business. <laughs> They're both new subscribers now. We should put the coordinates <laughs> for that car wash yeah. in the description of this video. Yeah, it was like service with a smile, right? It was. It they was. saved me so many hours of hard work of scrubbing and getting the dirt and grime off our van. <sighs> the one thing that we wish that we had done was written, wash me in yeah. the dirt before we got it washed. <laughs> that would have just been a great clip. He even said to me how dirty our van was. Oh. There was three months of grime on our van, three months of solid Baja caked on her. Let's get out of here. Look at the shiny new van. Wow. It's like the reflection of the sky on the side of our van. <laughs> is camouflaged with the actual sky. Beautiful. Now, where were we? Ah yes, time to continue our journey north and head for the Tecate border crossing, marking the beginning of a new chapter of this adventure called life as we return to America. It's over. It's been good. It's been a, been a journey. One last pit stop to get some gas before we cross back in the US. Gas prices here in Mexico seem to be hovering around $4.50, where as soon as we get into California, they're gonna be about $2 more per gallon, maybe even upwards of $7. Absolutely insane, but one last thing we can do to save a little bit of moolah before going back to the grand old USA. Two important things I wanna mention. Remember our FMM stamp? We were never asked for that, not once in our over three months of being here in Baja. I'm glad that we were cautious and made sure to go back and get it just in case. But if you're still curious, wondering, nobody asked about it at all. The other thing, oh yeah, we haven't been in the US at all in 2022 yet. So today will actually be the first day that we've been in America this entire year. It's kind of fun, isn't it? This is the crossing right here. Wait, in Toronto. Uh, Where are you? Estados Unidos. Van Estados Unidos. Yes, yes. Yes. You need to go back. It's one, two. Left. To the left. Yes, to the left. You're going to pass the station of the police. Okay. Yes. Yes. okay. En el siguiente alto está un sign que dice ah. USA, tienes que subir y luego okay. bajar. Ok, Gracias. so dos calles, izquierda, 
¿Y cuántos? Bomberos. Ah, unas cuatro cuadras. Cuatro, ok. Y bomberos. Y la siguiente es... stop. Ahí está. Bueno. Gracias. Gracias, amigo. Bye, que bien. Esto sin él. Ahí está el USA. Oh, look, we're so close. Yet, not there yet. This crossing would definitely be a little less intimidating if you're coming into Mexico instead of Mexicali or Tijuana. Like, this is just a nice size pueblo to enter into. Yeah, it's really small. Yeah. It's pretty charming. I felt like there was a personal touch with the main guy who controlled the gate there and gave us directions. Very homey. Do you want to just look on the map and see if you can tell something? I'm assuming it's still this way and you don't turn around. Yeah. Yeah, San Diego. There's a sign up there. Oh. Hasta luego! Wow, look at the whole fence. We are next to the wall. There's definitely a little bit of a line. It is 2 p.m. on a Friday, so. Is there a difference on the right or left? Couldn't tell you. There is a border wait time app, and apparently it's only a 30 minute wait, which isn't too bad, especially for a Friday. I could only imagine what Tijuana is. Actually, pretty curious. That's Tijuana. I'm glad we're here. And they got five lanes. ¿Cuántos? Dos dólares cincuenta. Dos dólares cincuenta. Dos cincuenta. Sí. ¿Quieres una o dos? Una. Una. Es perfecto. Una. Gracias. Aquí estamos por cuando venga. Ah, sí, hola. <laughs> Welcome to our video. Sí. Gracias. Muchas gracias. ¿Es posible en dólares? Sí. Matan cincuenta centavos. ¿Cuántos? Buenas. Gracias. gracias. Perfecto. Bye bye. Bye. Ciao, Ciao adios. amigo. Adios. Todo el país es Todo muy país. hermosa. Sí. Bye. Cuídense. Adios. We're bringing a taste of Mexico back with us. The line is so much longer now. Look at going up and over the hill. At the border, we see a lot of people here asking for any leftover pesos, and there's even a sweet family on the side and we have some extra produce a few more random things that we would normally put in a blessing bag so we're gonna go ahead and give it to them and we have quite a few goods left in this blessing bag actually at least we can do a little something Hi. look at that barbed wire up there Ouch. it makes you barbacoa real fast once we get back to the U.S., we have a running list of things that we need to fix on Spirit. Because Baja has been a little bit rough on our home. We're still missing that window button and there's a few other squeaky missing parts. Along with picking up our giant mountain of mail that our friends have been so kind to collect for us. Because when it comes to living on the road, you just kind of have to get your mail sent wherever you're going next. And Thanks, Will. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's a mountain. I think they're all in here. Oh my gosh. How is that gonna fit the van? Hi. Nope. On this side right here. We're giving another tour. You know, let me make it easier on you. We're actually supposed to send these in to put the hydro check. We need a secondary inspection. It should be didn't know where to start looking in our van. So where are you coming from? Valley de Guadalupe. Oh, not yeah. 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 But you're picking back some fresh uh, groceries, right? We Ooh. have lemons. Lemons? Any yeah. other foods, fruits or vegetables? Tomatoes, maybe? A garlic. No, we don't garlic have any tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah. tomatoes. not. We don't yeah. have any yeah. tomatoes. No tomatoes? No. She meat, knows the any kitchen. Any cold meats, any no ham, meat. any chorizo, bacon, pork products, no. fresh eggs? No. Let me take a look inside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You both have to come out. Okay. Contraband, an orange that had rolled behind our fruit basket, which could have cost us a $350 fine. Success. Navigator, you batting the hatches? Bridge is locked in. All he took was an orange. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> the good old US of A. E E U U. Double E W. Estados Unidos? But why double letters? Uh, America. America. We're back. I think we're in America now. Do I say hola or do I say hello? I know, I'm still confused. <laughs> I said gracias to our US <laughs> customs guy. Whoa. 
Ooh. Look, this is a line going into Mexico. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, people are going with their cool... Yeah, cool yeah. off-road buggies. Yeah. Peace, Mexico. Peace. Peace out. Welcome to California. It's our first time all year. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Look at this. It looks exactly like where we just were. It's a really weird feeling having just crossed borders. Everything feels the same, kind of looks the same, but now the language is different, the stores are all going to be different, but I do think it's going to take a few days to assimilate back into not feeling the culture shock. I just want to say the lines on the road are painted much better. <laughs> and there's a lot less potholes. A lot less. And there's always room for your vehicle, no matter what lane you might be in. Yeah, you don't have to worry about your side view mirror getting bumped off by a semi. <laughs> that is nice. And now we know what lies beyond the border to Baja. Our minds have been altered and changed for the better. And hopefully yours have too. If you haven't seen the entire Baja Bound series, right here. Interesting. We keep seeing these little things. We think they try to regulate people walking across the border and things like that. I do love this time of year here in SoCal when these trees are in full bloom. A little thank you gift from Mexico to our friends for gathering all of our packages. I think they're all in here. Oh my gosh. How is that gonna fit in the van? How are we gonna fit in the van? <laughs> that is a lot of packages. We gotta get groceries. I know that much. I just don't know how we're gonna get in the fridge now, but we'll figure it out. Good morning. Drew's on the phone with his mom, letting her know we made it back to the US, but you see those hills in the distance? That's actually Tijuana. Last night we were able to sleep in here because we moved all of the packages up to the front of the van and now they're back onto the bed. So this morning our mission is to get to the storage unit, make some more space and spirit and try to remember the things that we left behind that we didn't want to bring with us to Mexico. So we have quite the agenda today. So I just got off the phone with my mom. She'd been blueberry picking in Florida, which I thought was so cute. So go mom, you've got a ton of blueberries and I wish I could have some. <laughs> <laughs> On other news, our friend Sticker Bob reached out to us. He told us about this app called Vanly, which we've never heard of before, where people kind of like Airbnb list their driveways for van lifers and some of them have amenities. Well, he booked us a spot with his friend in Encinitas and it's got laundry, a peaceful, quiet place to relax, a view, and we're gonna go park up there. We know where we're staying tonight. I also miss parking right up on those beaches. On an in the sun. But that's okay. There are perks of being back here too. There's always something to be grateful for everywhere we go, right? Everywhere. Everywhere. Peace, love, and tacos. We're in a good spot. Ooh, and tomatoes. Quick pit stop on our way to the storage unit since we have zero produce. Even though they only took one orange, that is still sad to me. I hope somebody ate that orange. But we're here at the cutest little produce stand, which I think most of their products come from Mexico as well. So time to stock up. Because after seeing that one avocado at Trader Joe's costs $2.75, I'm like, there has got to be another way. I think we were paying like a quarter for an avocado on the other side of the border here, half an hour away. This is so Yeah, we picked up a few things in addition to the amazingly priced $1.99 for an entire bag of avocados. I was really excited to find this place. Mm. We're gonna have to make some room in the van because at this point we have boxes galore and now we got jackfruits and avocados just falling out of all the cabinets. So, to the storage unit. Storage unit days are so exhausting. We can do this, babe. Whoa. We gotta get, first of all, move everything to get to that chest. They can go all the way down. I think we did a really good job of condensing it last time. Yeah, at least it's organized. Don't even know what's in here. Our electronic goods. And so the job of what we like to call the van life shuffle begins. 
Every so often, after returning from trips like this, when our supplies whittle down and our mail piles up, Spirit always finds a way to absorb all that we need into her nooks and crannies again. Are these my sneakers? Oh, I think this is for you. Yay! What are they? These are handguard protectors for Lucky Blue. That way I don't get hit by any shrubs, cactus, or branches whipping down those trails. I bet those would have been handy in Mexico. Yeah, it would have saved me a couple scratches or things, cactus prongs into my knuckles. I kind of melted the tail light on Lucky Blue pretty bad on my last ride. Whoa, what the heck happened here? Oh, it came loose and it got melted by the muffler. So I got to fix that tail light. We gotta make like a recycling pile. Ooh, this one's heavy. It's a big boy. In a world where your imagination <laughs> does all the dreaming. It is really dark. <laughs> Silver. Have you guys ever used this stuff or heard of it? This is what I'm gonna use as my new spray for my throat that helps with asthma. Doesn't taste like anything. And a little drop on this wart that you may have been seeing or not seeing in some episodes. Kind of gross. And I got a big bottle. Cool. And one of the most important, this is a mechanism that allows our fan up here to lift properly. The casing had blown out. This mechanism here needs to be replaced because I think the gears maybe are shot. Probably from all those bumpy roads and we had left our hatch up and it snapped the mechanism. So right now, we're using a paper clip. <laughs> Not a paper clip, a clothespin to hold our vent fan hatch open. It's kind of jerry-rigged. More memory cards. This is a good one. We broke our indoor shower in a drawer faucet handle. I dropped it while we were down in Baja and it snapped, so now we can take indoor showers again. Yay! Just part of the essential supplies we need. And a new book. I'm very excited about this one. I heard about it on a podcast, School of Greatness. I've had these since 2020. Ooh, can't wait to use those. You're supposed to replace your running shoes every year, but sometimes when you live on the road, you can't get them mailed to you every year. So, yeah. Ooh, I gotta show you something. That? This is the Nevada Magazine and Visitor's Guide. We just did our trip on the Death Valley Rally, and this is our super fun pick. They featured basically on the front page. Cool. All right, time to clear out our bookshelf, at least a little bit. That was a great read. And maybe we leave Bali, because that's not happening now till 2023? Or do you want to keep it? Let's keep that. All right, we'll keep Portugal. We'll keep that. International living. I think that's good. Got a little more space? Yeah. What books are you guys reading right now? Leave a comment below. I would love to know. We're always up for reading something great on the road. And before calling it a day, it was time to take inventory of our Mexican blanket collection slash our stash of future Christmas gifts for family and friends. We loved all of the different designs and colors. My goodness, I think we have did it. We're done, Joe, for the... Survived yet another rearrangement of the storage unit. Oh, we'll be back. Didn't have it in me to go through my clothes and try and figure out what our next plans are because they're a little bit up in the air. They're very exciting plans though. Whether it's Portugal or the undisclosed potential project in Moab, but we'll see. Regardless, we're gonna have to come back here and before we leave town. Made a little bit of breathing room in spirit. Sort of. I don't know if Spirit has more room or less room now. <laughs> more room. Yeah? That's good news. Because of all those Mexican blankets we got rid of. This is our storage unit number two. Yeah, it is. On wheels. Just me, you, and Lucky Blue. Oh, it's beautiful. The magic of this city is back. 
How fun we get to share fireworks with you guys. They're beautiful. Look at that, right here. Keep your eyes on the road. Yeah, you drive. But check out the fireworks. You can watch it on film later. <laughs> <laughs> what a show. Look at oh that. Oh my goodness. It doesn't get better than that. We have front row seats from the highway. This is amazing. We always said this window was like a big screen TV. Gotta love the nighttime riders. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the grand finale. It literally was. Yeah. Cool. Good timing.